What is up my NeoVim friends? Today I'm going to show you three little tricks inside of NeoVim so that you can incorporate them or at least know about them to have in your toolbox for different scenarios that you're working in NeoVim for. If this is your first time on the channel, welcome and I hope you liked the video and if you do, consider hitting that subscribe button, especially if you like NeoVim content. The first trick I want to show you is one that I constantly use, especially whenever I'm debugging plugins or something that's not quite working inside of NeoVim. If you hit colon and then type check health, this will run the check health command or the health command for each of your plugins that you have installed. So if I hit enter here, then I get a new tab and it's gonna show me that it's running health checks and it'll run through all the plugins. And at the bottom here, you can see that I have which key installed and it'll show me conflicting key maps so that I can know whenever I have key maps that are overlapping or that I need to sort out. Now check health will run all the health commands for your different plugins if you don't give it a command. If you wanted to run just the health command for one specific plugin, you can do that and give it an argument. So you can say check health in telescope, and this will run the health command just for this one plugin. And you can see it does that here. And I only have the information for telescope. So if you want to check that something's installed specifically for a plugin and then it's working as expected, this is how you can do that. I'll leave a link down in the description about the health commands in NeoVim. And if you want to learn more, check out that link. The next trick that I want to show you is showing a diff inside of NeoVim for two files. Now you may have seen in a previous video that you can actually do this dash D option, which works in Vim or in NeoVim. And this will open files in diff mode. So let's say we wanted to diff two different files. Let's say input text, and then also another, which is basically the same file that I've copied twice. If we open this up, then this will open up NeoVim in diff mode and we can see the different changes and it'll expand or collapse the folds depending on your settings. Having that diff mode works great, but what if we already have a NeoVim session open already? If we wanted to diff those two files during our current session, we could use a different command called windu and diff this. So if we had a vertical split and let's say we'll open the another text on the right hand side with the different diffs and on the left hand side we have the input.txt. If we run windu and diff this, then this will diff the two splits and run this command diff this in each of the windows. By running that you can see we get the same diff and we can go back to working in whatever we needed to instead of opening a brand new NeoVim session to see those diffs. What the diff this command is doing is running that option with nvim d under the covers so that we don't have to exit our current session to get that diff. The last trick that I want to show you today is using G to match patterns and delete them. So if let's say we wanted to delete all of the lines that have sum inside of them, if we do a G and then sum and then D for delete, then this will delete all the lines that have sum inside of them. And we see that reflected here. We can do an undo and we can see it come back. Awesome. Now, if we wanted to do the opposite and have all the lines that were not deleted, how would we do that? Well, we can do a bang here after G. This will delete all the lines that do not have sum inside of them. We run this, we're only left with a handful of lines. Pretty sweet. That's all the tricks I have for you today, but if you have any awesome tricks, let me know in the comments. And if you liked the video, consider liking and subscribing, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, and have a great new year.